So you ready? Yeah. Okay, so uh, my wife was looking for a lightweight vacuum, something that um, she could just pull out when she needed it and not have to worry about a long cord. And uh, we have a Dyson, but it's kind of heavy and cumbersome to take out when you just want to vacuum something up real quick. So we have a Black & Decker 36 volt with Aura technology. It's a stick vac two in one. Emma. Hey, <laughs> come here. And my princesses are <laughs> on my necklace. Oh, you have princesses on your necklace? Yeah. <laughs> You're silly. So uh, we're gonna take it out of the box and see what all we have inside. <laughs> and I got princesses. <laughs> I got Prinzel and, and, and Belle and Okay, so when you first take this out of the box, it's going to be in two pieces. The handle and the base are separate pieces. And super easy to put together. There's just one screw. Put the, take the screw out, slide the handle down in the slot, and screw the screw back in. So that is all you need to put this thing together. Charge it extremely easy. There's the charging base. Just place it right on the base, and as you can see, it lights up and starts the charging process. Looks like it's charged, but I'm going to go ahead and let it charge for four hours, just like the uh, instruction manual says. Now this model is the BDH3600SV. And what that means is um, the accessories that come with it. So with that model, with the 3600SV, you get this little brush and then you get uh, the extender head. So that extends, pulls out, and I'll show you after it's fully charged how that works. But I will show you that um, this is the floor attachment. You can see the brush inside there. Now this is pretty neat. You know how you can sometimes get hair and stuff tangled on the bottom, and then you gotta turn your vacuum upside down and try to dig it out and stuff. Well, they have put a little button on the side right here and you can take, as you can see, everything just comes apart and you can easily clean it and then put it right back together. And I thought that was really cool and really easy to clean the floor attachment. Okay, so to use this as a hand vac, there is one button. You just push this button and the hand vac will pop out. I'm trying to do it with one hand, but yep, there you go. So then that comes out like that, and you can use that as a hand vac. Okay, so here is the hand vac. I'm guessing it weighs about three, maybe four pounds. I'm just guessing. I don't know officially. Um, so there's a power button on the top here when you're using it as a hand vac. Um, has a washable filter there. And then to empty out the bin, there is a lever right here on the side. Push that down, and then this whole canister comes out. And then you open the door here and just dump it over your trash can. So super easy, um, super easy, super handy. This is an extender that I was telling you about. It comes in handy trying to get it in seat cushions, uh, the floor of the car, things like that, so pretty cool. Um, that's about it. Um, this thing has come in extremely handy over the past several weeks that we've owned it, so highly recommend it. To put it back into place, you just line up the nozzle with that little groove down there and then push it into place and it will snap into place and there you are ready for vacuuming. That simple. So when using this as a stick vac there is a, another power button up on the handle and then a button to enable and disable the rollers. So if you're on tile uh, generally they recommend not using the rollers. Uh, if you're on hardwood no rollers. Carpet rollers. So but sometimes you know you want to have the rollers and you can so you just turn them on and off right there with the button. So this thing is pretty awesome. It's lightweight. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's light. Compared to a Dyson, extremely light. Okay, as far as on hardwood, tile, and stuff like that, this thing maneuvers, turns on a dime. Very maneuverable, uh, as you can see. 
just turns whenever I want it to turn. Very easy to maneuver. Now on carpet, it's a little bit different. So on carpet, when you turn it, it kind of just slides. It doesn't really turn the way you want it to. Um, even when it's on and the brushes are pulling it, it still uh, doesn't really turn as well. You kind of have to push it in the direction you want it to go. So, okay. so as you can see, it's, um, I mean, you can turn it, but it doesn't turn as well. Like when you turn here, it doesn't just automatically turn that way as as good as it does on hardwood. But um, I mean, it, it is, you can maneuver it. It just takes a little bit more effort. But still, easy to maneuver, uh, easy to use, highly recommend it. That's probably the one of the only downfalls I can think of is the uh, maneuverability on carpet. But... It's been extremely convenient, uh, works extremely well, um, picks up pretty much anything that I've tried to pick up with it, and I do wish they had a, a replaceable battery, because it is lithium, so it will last you last you a while. I would like the, uh, the ability to swap out the battery, because if something goes wrong with it, chances are it's going to be the battery. It'll be a couple years. Um, Probably, but you know, it'd be good to be able to throw a new battery in there and then be good to go for another couple years. So, uh, that's the vacuum. Really like it. Highly recommend it if you're looking for something that's portable, easy to get to for uh, quick cleanups. Highly recommend it. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can find this on Amazon. Check it out. Hope this video helps you. Um, in your buying decisions and subscribe more videos coming soon thanks